All right, let's dive into Chemical Corporation's recent performance and financial standing. So, as we know, Chemical is a major player in the uranium industry, headquartered in Canada. Back in 2015, they were the second largest uranium producer globally, with a significant chunk of their production going to nuclear utilities across the Americas, Asia, and Europe. Fast forward to today, Chemical reported a net loss of $7 million for the quarter. But but when we look at the adjusted net earnings, they stand at $56 million. The losses seem to be tied to normal fluctuations in contract deliveries and the integration of Westinghouse into their portfolio. Speaking of Westinghouse, they are expected to post a net loss in 2024 due to some accounting adjustments and acquisition-related costs. But their adjusted EBITDA a measure of operational performance was $77 million for the quarter. Now let's talk about the stock. On May 7, 2024, the stock price sits at $50.73, up about 4.79% from the previous day's close. In pre-market trading, it hit $52, up to 2.50% from the day before. Yesterday's closing price was $48.41. Now, on to their financials from 2023, which showed some promising growth. Revenue soared to $1.91 million, a 33.5% increase from the previous year. Operating income flipped from a loss to $211 million in the positive and net income turned positive as well, reaching $267 million. Taking a peek at their balance sheet, we see some shift. Current assets dipped to $1.36 billion, primarily due to lower cash and receivables, but non-current assets increased to $5.99 billion, largely because of property, plants, and equipment. Liabilities went up too, both current and non-current, due to higher amounts payable and long-term debt. Although the current ratio took a significant hit, dropping to 1.49 from 6.51 in 2019, indicating potential short-term liquidity concerns, their net profit margin turned positive at 13.94%, a vast improvement from a loss in 2020. Return on equity also saw a significant uptick, showing signs of financial stability. Overall, Cameco seems to be on a positive trajectory, with their financial indicators trending upwards, they're set for growth and profitability in the future. If you would like us to research a stock, please tweet at Collective ReC or leave a comment here. Like and subscribe for potential investment ideas. Become a member at www.collective-research.com and receive our research reports before they are published.